I think this next set of videos basically sums up why people think the way they do about the Logies. Oh, and if you enjoyed the video guys, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you want a little bit of merch, check out down below. Hard Chat. Welcome to Hard Chat. I'm joined by Gold Logie nominee, Grant Denyer. Thanks for joining me. Thank you, it's good to be here. Let's chat. Hard. <laughs> you were nominated for a Gold Logie for Family Feud, which has been axed. I love how uh, we call it Family Fortunes over here. We got the two families. In obviously America, they have Family Feud. In Australia, they clearly have Family Feud. Are the Logies broken? <laughs> I think it's a lovely way to send out Family Feud. Go out with a bang. If if I had known it was this easy to get nominated, I would have had all my shows axed a long time ago. <laughs> I struggle with it as a man of science. I'm just saying, like, like the gold Logie is supposed to be for the most popular person on TV. Mm -hmm. Your show was axed due to low ratings mm -hmm. from the third highest rating network. Mm -hmm. That just doesn't make sense. Mm, so you're looking at it the wrong way. It's Australia's most loved game show. That's what you say when you're not the highest rating game show. So my high rating game show is loathed mm. but popular. <laughs> Yeah, that's one way to look at it. Loathe. <laughs> the logic doesn't add up quite, does it? In capital letters. Mm. It's a very angry show. Now, was it hard to do a survey of 100 people when even 100 people weren't watching? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so who do you think's going to win gold? I reckon Tracy Grimshaw. Well, she should win because she's on the highest rating show. Mm. It's very, very popular. Imagine if she doesn't win, though. I reckon A Current Affair will do a story on the Logies. I think they will. Dodgy Logies. <laughs> I'm just looking forward to getting out on the cans with Grimshaw afterwards, because yeah. I think I think she'd be up for a party. She can sink a few. Yeah, I think you'll see us down in Surface Paradise and I'll be pushing her down the street in a shopping trolley with a slab <laughs> on the <side>. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, that's the sort of signs you see up north in England. No offence, northerners. You beauty. I, think, I reckon she would rip into the cans while she's mowing a lawn. <laughs> How good would it be if the Logies organisers like started doing Bathurst? You could come tenth and be king of the mountain. <laughs> winning a Logie uh, with not having a show is kind of like winning the Bathurst 1000 without a car. Actually, how good would it be if you'd won? Oh, could you imagine? Let's get it what... to win. I'm going to campaign to get you to win. Are you serious? Yeah, I want to campaign to get you to win the gold Logie. How good would that? Oh, you watch this. Vote Dania for gold. Let's get his <laughs> Axe TV show a gold Logie. Vote now. We... I, I think straight away, you only have to watch this first little bit to sum up how stupid the Logies are. If a show that, you know, it's, it's obviously only talking about nominations at the moment, but if it's talking about a show that's just been axed because it wasn't very popular anymore, then is it really worthy of winning an award? Probably not. And actually, what's, what's, what's interesting is that they're on two different networks, I think. So the Family Feud and Hard Quiz, they're on different networks. But actually, they've kind of are coming together. That's you perfect. get behind my show. I will get you the gold Logie. Because the Logies are an absolute joke. How good would it be if you won the gold <laughs> finally <laughs> for a show that wasn't on air? It's perfect. <laughs> Take that, Channel 10. You know, I'm going to drive my big brass mug up the red carpet <laughs> and I'm going to campaign for you. Just to walk up there and go, suck it, and then just yeah. walk off. <laughs> and you can jam it up the Logies and jam it up Channel 10 at the same time. <laughs> I'm not expecting this kind of support. Because you're the perfect underdog. Are you feeling You that? could literally walk under a dog. <laughs> You're the underdog. You could literally walk under a dog. I don't, I'm sorry, it's gone straight over my head. I think I found the calling. You're in my corner. I'm going to campaign for you from now until the night. Wow, the two game show yeah. greats just. I like... don't even give a shit about hard quiz. <laughs> sorry about that. Vote feud. And then you for gold, this is perfect. It's nice to lay the guns down oh, and just mate. connect. I yeah, like this. I like this where is this is going. We are going to have so much fun. You are a lunatic. Thanks for chatting. Hard! I, I'm actually really enjoying watching some of Tom Gleason's stuff. Now, I know he does hard quiz and he's a comedian. I've not seen any of his comedic stuff, to be honest, so we'll have to look at that. Um, but he does come across as a real character, a real funny bloke. So you want Denya to win? Yeah, I'm serious. Look. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> Denya for gold! Go to Facebook and Twitter, follow the links! Denya for gold! 
Oh my word. I always question, uh, so we've got similar over here, BAFTA and all that sort of stuff, the television awards. I do wonder who bothers to vote for these people. Like, I have never, I have never ever thought, oh, I'm going to pick up the phone or I'm going to go online and vote for some, like a, a television show. Why would I? I, like, I don't get. So, yeah, the Logies are not coming across great, are they? Even Tom Gleason said they're a joke. He's in. Which you can still catch on iView. Would you please have Tom Gleason? The Logies headed to the Gold Coast for the first time, and when the big night arrived, something amazing happened. Did he do it? Tom Gleason, where are you? Yeah, you're over there. Yeah, thanks for the hard chat, mate. I appreciate it. Unbelievable. Please welcome Logies Kingmaker, Tom Gleason! <laughs> yes, Charlie. Wow. It's been a great year. Been a great. <laughs> mm. Unbelievable that you could you could shape the logies. You could determine the outcome just by your will. Yeah, that's right. And you know what, Dania doesn't realise. I'd been planning this thing for ages. <laughs> <laughs> several <laughs> several years ago, Tom Gleason hatched a plan to change the logies forever. The reason why you're here is because no one knows what it takes to get the gold logie better than you. Oh, Tom, I mean, come on, I only have three. Sure, it's more than any other performer this century, but I don't like to brag. But if I did... How cra... Look, look how dreadful. Hang on. How rubbish is the golden logie? It literally does. It looks like a snot holding a, a book. That is what it looks like. A snot holding a book. I did I probably bring that up? So what is this, an intervention? No, it's about Grant Denya. So what is an intervention? No, we need to get Denya gold. Denya, what are you doing here? I'm a gold logie winner, Tom, remember? After how many losses? Ten. <laughs> how many have you won? <laughs> what about you? I'm in the Hall of Fame. My life is a gold logie <laughs> performance. All right, but... Can you help me get Denya the gold? But don't you want the gold? No. Gold Logies for has been. <laughs> to control the Logies. To be the puppet master pulling the strings. That's real power. Now, hang on, Tom. What about the credibility of the Logies? Straight away, you can see that they can take the mick out of themselves. Yes, they've won it. And Tom Gleason is clearly taking the mick out of them because... Well, he's just called them has-beens, and he's probably right. I don't have a clue who any of them are, uh, and that's probably a country thing. But to be called a has-been on TV, look, fair play to these three, fair play. <laughs> and even then, they're taking the mick out of the logies. We make Grant Denya the underdog. That way, people will vote for him. Oh, Tom, Denya's a winner, and Australians hate winners. Well, then we make Grant Denya a loser. I got it. Let's get Family Feud axed. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> and then what's going to happen, Tom? Channel 10 are just going to drag Denya into their office and go, Denya, out! I like that. That's mine now. So you'll just do your own Wednesday night quiz program on the ABC and outrate one of Channel 10's flagship programs. Come on. <laughs> Now begins phase two. What we do is we reach down into the gutter and grab Daniel by the scruff of the neck and then drag him all the way back up to the top. Get him on the weekly. No, no better, get him on hard chat so people actually see it. I was not expecting this kind of support. Vote Daniel. <laughs> Time. We need you. Sorry, mate. Can't help. Oh, come on, mate. If anyone knows anything about winning a gold logie they don't deserve, it's you. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> <laughs> you get so many backhanded compliments. Too much stuff on. Tell you what, though, I could probably send Andy. <laughs> We're too far behind. Oh, well. We had a good run. Oh, come on, mate. You know how I finally won? 
Everyone got sick of Lisa, then everyone got sick of Georgie, then everyone got really sick of Rove. Oh my God, thinking about that, it reminds me of Ant and Deck. Ant and Deck, double act over here. You probably know they do I'm a Celebrity over in Australia and whatnot. Every year, every year they win. I don't even know what the award is. Is it a BAFTA or a television? One of them. They win it every year and no one else stands a chance. But surely, surely one year, everyone is going to get fed up of those two winning and someone else will take that trophy and lift it above their heads. I'm getting a bit out of of, uh, control here. But it's, yeah, like surely someone else is going to win because they win it every year. I didn't give up. I didn't give a rat's, but I didn't give up. Is that chocolate from my pillow? Look, guys, the Logies start in an hour. What are we going to do? Sam. Sam. Whatever the card says, just say Grant Daniel. Sorry. Bad luck, Andrew Winter. <laughs> Why don't we just do that all the while? <laughs> <laughs> it's ridiculous. Oh man. That sums up the Logies, right? Surely that sums that sums up. I think add this with Norman Gunston, right? Add that together and all the whole joke of the Logies. That sums it up perfectly. That was really, really funny to watch. As I said, I've got to watch some more Tom Gleason. He seems a really funny character, so I will investigate more. If you enjoyed the video, guys, honestly, make sure you like and subscribe. It will help my channel out so much, so much. I will catch you next time.